Welcome back to 1834 Restoration House. This is a canning special. Today we're doing taco soup. Now I've already got my ground beef cooked and rinsed. I've got my beans soaked and halfway cooked and they are also rinsed. Now I'm doing a double batch today. So this is one and there's the other one. And we're gonna go ahead and add our ingredients. Now my tomatoes, I don't know about you, but when I do canned tomatoes, I don't like them quite so big chunked and they don't always put in the ideal tomatoes. So sometimes there's hard ones in there, but I do want the juice. It's a little big. Here we go. There's one. pieces of tomato. Those things don't go very well. Oop. <laughs> Another top piece. And the skin. Okay. There's three. I mean two. There's Skin. There we go. Another skin? Nope. Tomato. Okay. There's three for that pot. Now my corn. Juice and all. Three of those. And three rotels. Rotels are diced tomatoes and green chilies put together. Don't know if you, everybody's heard of these or not. They're really good. Then I'm going to need half of the taco seasoning. Half of the ranch dressing powder. And then we stir it up. Now my ground beef is already cooked. So are my beans partway cooked. I do not have to cook this in order to can it. We will just put it in our jars and pressure can it up. So there's one pot. Now to fill our jars. Taco soup is one of the easiest soups I know to make. It's also one of my favorites, which is why I'm doing a double batch. And at this elevation, which is under a thousand feet, We'll pressure can these at 10 pounds for 90 minutes. Mm, it smells so good.
What's your favorite thing to can? Mine is always soups. I just love having that ready made, homemade, and very nutritious meal ready to go anytime. It is my favorite. Cranberry sauce is another one of my favorites. finished filling my jars. I've got one batch in there now. So I have a total of 24 quart jars for my double batch. Plus enough for lunch. <laughs> so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the soup as much as I do. Wow, what do we have here? Lots of color, antique colors. Ooh, yeah. Hi. So tell us what you've been working on. This looks exciting. Yes. Well, this is future us, far in the future from what you're seeing now. <laughs> but coming up in the next few episodes, we're going to start a series where we play with antique paint recipes. And what we gave you here is a quick glimpse of some of the work we've done. And we're really excited about this. And we're going to show you how we mix paint the old fashioned way. Yes. And more colors to come. We nope. haven't decided what colors we really want yet, so we'll keep playing, I guess. Absolutely. This house needs to be painted, and we're going to show you a little bit behind the scenes of how that works. So stay tuned, coming this Friday, for the next episode of 1834 Restoration House.